Hey, welcome to another night at the Focal Point. So, uh, um, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a really fun show. We're, we've been looking forward to this for a while. You know, I'll be yakking to you some more after the next set break. So, uh, I think if you'll uh, put your hands together, Mikey Welling will come on stage. Hi, good evening, everybody. Thank y'all so much. Now it's gonna be a little bit of downtime in between songs here for some tuning and stuff, so you know it's okay. Uh, this next tune is called uh, Buford, and me and Scout were out there just this uh, this morning. Little town uh, just outside of Union. place that's real near and dear to my heart. Buford, Missouri. That one's coming, don't worry. Alright, y'all, well, thank you so much.
survive up here. Um, play this instrument here. If you folks don't know what it is, it's uh, called a dobro. It was originally uh, patented by the, the Dobroski brothers, actually. So the Dobros. And it was, uh, you know, invented for everyone who wanted to uh, know what a, uh, uh, a fretless banjo sounded like. People were dying for that wonderful timbre. But honestly, it was, uh, you know, designed to, uh, to compete with the sound of, uh, of, uh, of a louder band before amplification. And once we get her tuned up here, which she should be close. This next tune is called uh, Silver Mines Prelude, actually, for all the folks who are in that. And it's got a little sandwich in there called uh, Wood Piles and Barns from a record I did called Camp Scout, Volume 1. Thank you all so much. <laughs> So we put out this record uh, earlier this summer, June 29th, uh, my birthday actually, you know, easy to remember for me, uh, called Camp Scout Volume 2. And uh, we actually started the year off 
Uh, heading down to Nashville to cut the record in January. So when I originally headed down there, I had this grand scheme of doing 12 songs in 12 different keys on this instrument that is not designed to be uh, manipulated in that fashion. And sometimes in life, when you're working on a project, you may have one vision on where it's going to be, but you kind of have to let it find its way. And we did down there, and it was beautiful. And um, the 12 different key songs, you know, was, uh, was, a, uh, was a beautiful idea in practice. It was more of my Sistine Chapel moment, and not in the fact that it was timeless, beautiful art, in the fact that I was almost going blind, <laughs> attempting to try to make all this happen with these different tunings and whatnot. But life has a way of working itself out nicely. And from all of that came some of this most, uh, uh, some of my favorite stuff that we've ever recorded. And this one's called Raindrops from Treetops. So 12 different keys, you know, wasn't a great idea, but we did end up in some different keys, and that's what I'm doing with this instrument, or this, uh, this device, I should say. So now we're up in the key of E for all you people keeping score at home. And this song is called Oneata Gorge, and it's named after a spot uh, that I used to visit often uh, in the Columbia River Gorge when I lived in Oregon. But more so, the song really, to me, just kind of encapsulates the feeling of summer. Sometimes uh, the most beautiful parts of summer are when you're in these tall trees and it's kind of dark. And it, it has a slight spookiness to it, even though it's still summertime. And, uh, and kind of a haunting beauty. And particularly the Columbia River Gorge in Oregon is a lot like that, if anybody's been through there. 
So anyway, on the outer gorge. Thank you. Moving on, uh, I'd like to introduce my bandmate on this one. This is my tampora player. She has no name. So this is a little bit of what we call uh, East meets Eastern Missouri. just me tuning for like 45 minutes. So. <laughs> Alright, this is called Bolt Ford Crossing. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I got a couple more for you, and then we'll uh, get Moon Valley up here. Who's ready to hear some music from them, too? Yeah. Me as well. <laughs> Let's hear it for Gavin Duffy. <laughs> God bless the Ferguson the Police Department or whoever it is that allowed you to attend this evening, my brother. Uh, I ask him about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this song's called I Like Blossoms.
right, this is my last number. This is called Camp Scout. This one's for Scout. Got uh, merchandise and stuff for sale if you'd like to support us. We appreciate it. I promise you she'll get, uh, she'll get some treats out of it. Thank you all so much. Uh. much moon valley be right up if everybody will get excited moon valley will take the stage Be sure to keep these lights as bright as possible. <laughs> Want to make sure we can see everyone on stage. Uh, we are blessed. We are. Uh, we're here. Thank you so much, everyone that is here. What a beautiful room. Yes. Um, yeah, we're so happy to. Everyone in the band has worked diligently uh, to bring a, a brand new set of music to the evening, yes, and, uh, and to the airwaves. <laughs> so we're excited. 
we were at rehearsal last night when we discovered that it was live. So Tommy looks at me, he says, it's live, we're live, we're live. It was a very happy moment. So we, we did wonder, would it make it in time? It was meant to be. Yeah. It was meant to be. <laughs> they say it was meant to be. I was like, mm, make it, fella. So uh, if, if you don't know, Spotify, Apple Music, they give you two week lead time margin, and we were like, well, let's see if uh, maybe nine days, uh, maybe seven days. Yeah, we really pushed the envelope on it, but it worked out. So it's been streaming less than twenty four so hours. So that's you should hit success, right? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you should have got a card when you entered, and you can just scan that QR code on the card and take it right there. Thank you. Uh, What's the name? Everyone? You want to talk about that? And the name of the record is Sun Mountain. And uh, let's give it over to Gavin Duffy for hey. writing <laughs> so, all the songs but one. The other songs written by Roger Bolton that you'll hear later. And he worked his tail off on this, and we're really happy to play those songs for you tonight. Uh, this first piece is called Texas Red.
Okay, cool. Thank you. song the uh, second cut on the new record called River Ghost. And it was actually a single we've had for a while, so some of you may have heard it. River Ghost.
so uh, on that note, we are going to have uh, my beautiful friend Tom Sam lead on this one. It's a song called Let It Ride. Let it ride, Tom.
I get Ferris Bueller. I've never had one last year. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just cut it? Little less Gavin. Little less Gavin. Yeah. 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 Little less Gavin. Ye
Rin Netherton on the fiddle. The greenest bean of back here on everything. Simon Sherbet's on the bass. Pat Odrisk on the guitar. Give it up for him. Okay, so this comes the point in the show in which, you know, I start talking about Scotland. How many... How many people knew this was coming? Alright, what, what are Scottish? So, most of you know, you're ready, you're waiting. So, here we go. We're going to play some, uh, a little fiddle tune for you.
you so much, ladies and gentlemen. And now comes the point in the first segment which I direct you to stage right. Mr. Patrick O'Trispel. He's going to serenade you now sweetly. I'll let him take it from there. So attentive. Uh, uh, I can't get my focal point. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can't get my kids to be this quiet, so I'm not really sure what the trick is, but y'all want to tell us afterwards. Uh, so we'll do a little cover tune here, um, and uh, it'll feature Rin, because you always feature Rin in the game, right? <laughs>
Thanks, John. Go ahead and cut the, cut the mango. Just hold the cup down and get some. Dear, dear friends of mine that have come up to play uh, percussion and drums on this set. We've also got Brandon wow. Lewis joining us on trumpet in this set. And the next set will also include Dave Anderson on pedal steel. So we have a, uh, Moon Valley is about to grow three heads and then show you what we do with, with that. Watch out for each other. We dive right into things sometimes. And sometimes we gotta say, so, buddy, I'm here. Uh, Brown's actually a song that means a great deal to me. Um, and I do, you know, it's kind of a, it's a sentimental moment. Um, it's really about when we allow love to transcend uh, the things that, that stop us from being able to do so. And, uh, and what a powerful lesson that can be in a world that is so, uh, you know, fraught with trial and tribulation. Uh, when we really try to see one another uh, with compassion and empathy, and that's kind of a little bit about what the song is about. Yeah. 
We got one more song for this set for you all. Thank you so much. Uh, we got a whole nother set of brand new music for you guys. Super excited to get some guests up here. Let's keep the energy high. Uh, thank we have so much love and appreciation for every single person in this room. Um, we go ahead and cut that guitar for you. Uh, Let's also, everybody, give it up for Mikey Whaling and his opening set, everybody. Give it up for Mikey. That's some beautiful, beautiful music for you.
Maestro now. Rim, would you like to say a few words? Greetings. This one's, this one's called uh, Bolton. It's uh, named after my, my house that I recently was lucky enough to get. And uh, <laughs> and, uh here, here it is.
got one more before the drummers come back. You can try to hug on your tarps, your, your heart strings. <laughs> Is that a Scottish thing? Shall we? Yes. This uh, song is entitled All Shades of Blue.
Count. This is like my personal montage with Gavin. When I hear this song, I just think about uh, recording for hours and hours and cooking food and just, just rocking out to our own shit.
That one's called Forever, everybody. Check it out on the new record. Yeah, if you need a new montage. You see what we did there? <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> Alright, we had a couple requests for this. How we feel about this? Everybody! This is very exciting for me. This is the first time we've done this one on stage. Yeah, we wrote this with a little bit of a, uh, a glimmer of fire in our heart.
Sponsoring this show and giving you this wonderful beer that I think some of you are enjoying, I can kind of tell. And I also want to thank Mighty Kind for sponsoring as well. You gotta check out more of Mighty Kind, it'll treat you that way. And of course, thanks to the Focal Point for having us. It's such a wonderful group of people that. To take care of this place and put this whole thing together. Thanks to the Focal Point for having us.
Yeah. 